Stars live and stars die. But one of the ways stars die is particularly violent. It's an explosion called a supernova. Actually, there's two kinds. The first one we mentioned is called a type 1, A supernova. And that only happens if there's a binary star system, two stars, one of which is a white dwarf. In that case, it's possible for matter to get pulled from the larger star onto the white dwarf, causing its mass to get so large that it explodes. The cutoff mass, named for Chandrasekhar, is called the Chandrasekhar limit, and it's about 1.4 solar mass. It's 40% the mass of the sun. So if you see a white dwarf whose mass is increasing and getting close to that limit, watch out. Get away, it's about to blow. But today we're gonna to talk about a different type of supernova that doesn't occur in a binary system. It just occurs in a single star, but not a star like the sun. This is not gonna to happen to the sun. This only happens in more massive stars, about eight times the mass of the sun. So if you had a star like that, eventually this is what's gonna happen. The star's core is what supports the star and prevents gravity from pulling in. In the core, there's nuclear reactions. Nuclear fusion is generating new elements, producing heat that holds off gravity. But there's an end to that. When the core has produced the element iron, it can't generate any more energy. There's no more nuclear reactions available. So the core collapses. And this core collapse triggers another kind of explosion, a type 2 supernova explosion, as we'll call it here. So why would it be that something that's collapsing inward, gravity pulling things down to the center, could somehow result in an explosion blasting matter outward? It almost seems contradictory, doesn't it? Well, it's not exactly contradictory. Let's see an example here on Earth. We could, for example, take a basketball and let gravity work on the basketball. If we put a tennis ball on top of the basketball, then the tennis ball can represent the outer layers of the star. The basketball can re represent the inner core, the part that collapses down to become a very hard nugget of neutron matter called a neutron star. So here's what happens when these balls fall. Let's see what happens to the outer layers of this star. Whoa. I got blasted way over there. I've got another one. We can try it again. Oh, by the way, stars only get to explode once, but we're going to try it a couple times just because it's fun. Here goes another explosion. Let's see what happens here. Yikes, yeah, that one went way over there. <clears throat> I've got one more. Supernova. Detonate. So this is what ha will happen to all very massive stars, eight solar masses or more. They will all explode as a supernova after their core collapses because they've run out of nuclear fuel to produce enough energy to keep gravity from causing the collapse. A type two supernova.